Hello and welcome back to Creative Design and Supply. Today I want to put a water slide on this buffalo plaid. Um, I actually sublimated on HTV to get my buffalo plaid and now I am going to, we are going to apply a water slide. Now after I printed out my water slide, I actually spray tacked it on there. Um, it's still flipped over. It's got a little bit of dirt on it, but that's okay. This is the clear mat. Um, sometimes I use gloss. Um, you just have what you, you use what you have on hand. And now we carry clear water slides. We don't need white ones. The white ones tend to, the paint on the back of them crinkle a little bit and then they crack. Um, and they're kind of hard to work with. So really all you need is a is a clear water slide because I took the um, offset, if you will, but you don't do an offset. Um, whenever you put your picture on there, you'll see on my other video how I cut this out. And just to note, I notched the top of this so I know that this is the top. So that way whenever I lay it on there. All right. So now let me go ahead and transfer this onto the cup and then we will go from there. All right. And I have a piece right here. It has a little bit of glitter on it, but it's okay. my seam directly down and I have sanded it um, whenever I wipe it down with alcohol before I put the uh, the final coat on there it will be perfect all right so you want to work in the middle and work out if you get a bubble in it, it's okay. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix that in just a minute. I'm trying to keep it in frame. Whoop. I could have wet applied this. Um, but let me show you, we are going to go ahead and poke, poke those. And if you do a wet applique on this, um, you won't get bubbles. Kind of silly, I should have. So now that I have that on there, um, I'm going to go ahead and take one of these and I'm just going to cut around and give just a little bit of a edge to it. So now I'm going to round these out just a little bit. So they have their gaps. So I'm just going about a quarter of an inch or so, give or take. Definitely need to get that piece of trash. All right, and now I have that. And um, like I said, I sprayed uh, three light coats on there and let it dry. So now into the um, room temperature water. And let's see if I can slide this over. All right, um, I'm gonna flip it over 
and you can let it soak for quite some time and you'll be able to see you'll be able to slide it and that's what we want and I have found that if you do room temperature water not cold water it really helps usually these curl up but it's nice that it didn't okay so I'm getting a little bit of slide in it and I actually got some water so now what you want to do I don't want to pull this too far out of the frame all right and you're going to want to get some water on there that way it will help you slide it all right so Okay, there's a piece that's just not wanting to come off. So it looks like right here some spray had come around the side of it. I'm going to see if I can lift it up. Okay. Usually don't want to do that, but all right. So now take your time at this point um, you don't have to rush so then I want and did I tear it right there no okay. and I'm just trying to get to get it flat and get all the water out let me get I like to get mine wet just a little bit so that way you can move it around. All right. And I do let this dry for 24 hours and then I will put the final coat of epoxy on it. All right, I hope that helps someone. If you have any questions, comment below. And I really like the way this matte sealer worked on this. All right, and like always, if you have any questions about this, you can comment below and I'll be glad to help you with them. Thank you.